Good morning and welcome to another sigil making video. I realize I haven't made one of these for quite a while, um, but I have been continuing to improve my technique and I think it's time to do another one. Even if I'm not necessarily going to show something revolutionary and mind-blowing, um, at the very least you're going to get to see, you know, um, how I make sigils now versus how I made them a year or so ago. I think that's the last time I made a video. Um, I actually took a month break from sigil making. I got kind of burned out maybe, I would say, and I just recently started again and I've been trying to do them every day just to keep up the practice. So um, today is day five of that and I already have a subject in mind. Um, I've been mostly making sigils for self-empowerment these days. Um, so like the first one I made I called Reborn and it was kind of like oh I took a break from doing this and now I'm back and I'm gonna be better than before and yada yada. And then the second one uh, I'm, I'm already forgetting which ones I made but they're, they're a thing and uh, yeah. Anyway so the one I'm gonna make today is um, for I relax, uh, whoops, a knee, knee got, whoops, and technically the meaning is like I calm down or I relax, so it can basically the idea is for this to be kind of a soothing type deal, um, and I need to figure out what color I want to make it, um. Anyway, to start out with, let's just get the fonts going here. Uh, Frank, roll. This is my favorite font to use for the outside circle. And this has eight letters, and our default sigil template already has eight letters, so we actually don't have to change the size of the star. Um, so that's convenient enough. And then I have a new font that I've been using for the internal uh, part of the sigil. Uh, it's called Shemesh, which means sun. and it was made by somebody who is good at making fonts and it's supposed to basically it's supposed to be uh, like the handwriting script so you know you've got your block print for Hebrew and then you've got your handwriting which is markedly different and um, it might be in my history somewhere um, I can like throw the link in the description I guess um, but I've been having really good results with it it is a lot flowier and less blocky than your, you know, your block script. Um, so I've, I've found it to be really, really nice for sigil making purposes. And you, you'll see with the results of it, I suppose, um, when we get to that point. So, um, and then, yeah, I need to decide what color I want to use. So let's, uh, let's see, like, look up color associations. Uh... Oh, pink, okay. Hmm, interesting. Blues, greens, and purples. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, what do we got to a... What do we got? Uh... I wish there were like more default colors than just this because this is kind of it said blues, greens, and purples. Well, that's kind of a nice blue. And then maybe we'll do a green for the circles. Uh... We'll try that. We'll try that. See how that goes. Um, all right. Let's split this up and start positioning stuff. Uh, these aligning things are a bit weird sometimes. 
And oh yeah, I probably didn't mention I got I have a better microphone now, so hopefully my voice doesn't sound like absolute garbage this time around. I know in previous videos my voice has been kind of hit or miss and yeah, I'm not really keeping up with my voice training, so I don't I probably don't sound especially feminine right now, but I've kind of uh, tried to stop caring as much about how my voice is perceived gender-wise and just focusing on whether I'm comfortable with how I sound. And I think I sound okay, so I'm just going to roll with it. I know I'm supposed to like do commentary and whatnot, but it can be hard when you're trying to do a focus intensive task to maintain interesting commentary while also doing the thing you're trying to do. So apologies if I'm a bit muted or not super lively in my commentary for this video. I'm mostly doing this just to be like, yeah, here's my current uh, workflow because yeah, as I said, it's been quite a while since I've made a video of any sort, really. Um, I had been living with a roommate for a while, and given that this is a one-bedroom apartment, that meant that I gave up my living room so that she could sleep on my couch for like 16 plus months. And it's, I don't have anything against her personally, but I kind of got tired of having somebody in my house who isn't me and who isn't like somebody I'm in a relationship with, so... It, it's definitely been a great stress relief to not have anybody he living here except me. I've been living by myself now for about a month, and it's it's honestly been pretty great. So I feel comfortable making videos again because I don't have to, you know, worry about stepping on anybody's toes. Um, since I treated the living room as that person's bedroom, because I mean it was. Okay, so then we're gonna make this uh, the same color. Oh, and I've been, I've kind of been sticking with duotone approach, so like having two colors. So like the color that's in the text in the circle is the top color, and then the color that's the circles is the underneath color. Um, and I'll be sticking with that for this. I hope these colors will work out nicely together, um, but we shall see. This shouldn't take super long. I've been leaning towards making simpler sigils with just like the same phrase inside as the outside. I used to try to cram a lot of separate meaning inside, and so my sigils got to be like really complex and stuff. Um, but not that there's anything wrong with that, but this is kind of my current approach, so I'm just going to be seeing where this takes me. Um, and. Yeah, my usual approach is to just try to see how I can get the the letters to fit together nicely. Uh, it's a lot easier with these flowy fonts, I would say, because they kind of just gel together better. Um, so yeah, it's there isn't really like a rhyme or reason to this. It's kind of just how I feel like doing things. It's entirely arbitrary. The like how I position the letters and again it just it might seem like it's super random and th that's because it is really um, it's kind of just what I feel like doing at the given moment so yeah let's see what do we do with these letters I never really know what to do with these little little yode bits. Kind of just dangle them off of something. It doesn't super matter in the end because these shapes are kind of arbitrary. The uh, the more important part is that I'm the one who's doing it and I'm the one who has the intent behind, you know, like what these words actually mean. Um, so I still don't fully understand how this works exactly. Like. 
underneath the hood. I mean, you know, sigils are chaos magic and intent and blah, blah, blah. But it's still kind of like, <laughs> dare I say magical, it just kind of like works. But I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, so to speak. Let's see if I can figure out a shape for this that I find aesthetically pleasing. I kind of like this one. It's a little bit wide, but we'll see. Let's see if we can make this work for us. And yeah, since there's eight letters, the symmetry on this is very straightforward. It's just rotate and then rotate. Ooh. I don't I don't like how this this bit matches up here necessarily, but the inside part matches up real nice. So yeah, let's see if I I'm willing to compromise on this little bit looking funky because the inside looks really good. This this shape is just mm, lovely. So I guess now the question is do I like it like this? Or do I like it rotated? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to decide sometimes, since like they're both equally valid. Um, Cause like, if it's like this, this kind of like you know you're this direction and then like that and like that and like that. So there's like. But the other the other way works too, because then you've got your inside like black space looks like a chaos star a little bit, whereas now you've got like these prong bits. So yeah, oh, it's hard to decide. I'll just stick with it like this, I think, or like this. <laughs> nah, we'll just we'll just roll with this. Um, Okay, so this is step one, is just getting the shape, but then my new step two is, um, oh wait, hold on, this is, I made this the wrong color. I want to make everything the underneath color first, and then, and then I pick what looks good to me as far as, um, to color the other color. And what I try to do usually is have like a, some kind of path from the inside to the outside. Um, so like, I'm probably gonna do something like this. Uh, and it doesn't super matter which, how I get there per se, it's kind of just what I think looks good. Uh, so like this kind of gets us pretty close, right? And then this guy, and I guess, let's see. Let's do both of these. Now, of course, do you want to have like a balance between, you don't want to have too many, you don't want the whole thing to be colored the same, right? You want it to be like a little bit interesting. So it's kind of like, how do I feel? Is this, is this too much of one color versus too much of the other? And that's kind of a judgment call. Uh, it's a little bit too much blue. Let's see if I can do anything about that. Uh, with this one it's kind of hard just because there's not a lot of letters to work with. Um, and I, I need this piece because otherwise I can't connect it, right? Maybe I could just... Uh, hmm. Yeah, this part's a bit tricky. Yeah, I'm a little bit stuck on how I want to do this. I could, I could make the, whoops. I could maybe make these not be blue and move these back out of that group. There needs to be like some kind of convincing 
sense of depth to this of like you know there's the thing on top and then there's the thing underneath and they're both equally valid in a way um yeah again with with these shapes that I picked it's a bit hard to make it work the way I want to just cuz there's not enough I don't know, like letters. Or it's not that there's not enough letters, it's the way they're grouped. There's. I absolutely need this uh, Tav here to connect down to the bottom. And then, like, if I decide to. Hmm. Let me try something. I, again, I'm kind of just doing this because the actual shape making didn't take super long, and I'm feeling experimentative, so is that the right word? I don't know. So if I were to, whoops, if I were to grab this and this, and then maybe these, make those blue. Is that really an improvement? I don't know. It's hard to say. Or there's always the nuclear option of I change my mind and I'm just going to start over. <laughs> that always works. Always a valid option. Um, Again, not that there was anything wrong necessarily with the what I had before, but maybe I just yeah, maybe I just decide I want something different. Oh wait, this is what I had last time. <laughs> Let's make this little closed shape in the middle there. That might be interesting. And this is kind of this puts it at its minimum width here. So this this could work actually. Just for the sake of experimentation. Oh, what the hell? Yo, what? Oh no, I accidentally grouped the, yeah, no, that was silly. Anyway, uh, let's, let's try this. Who knows, maybe this will work better. Maybe then I won't have that conundrum. spacing isn't quite right. And I, again, this is kind of just my aesthetic sensibilities at play here. It's like, do I think it looks good? And nope, not yet. Maybe a little closer. Maybe if they're all touching. Ooh, that might work. Eh, it kind of works. What if I make them go in even closer? Hmm. It is a bit more interesting, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just trying to decide how I feel about these little bits here. Kind of looks like a uh, ice thingy. Just for the sake of experimentation, I'll, I'll keep mucking with it some more and see if I make it better or worse. Oh, now it looks a little bit spikier. Uh, I don't really like that inside part though. 
Well, and then of course there's the option to do it the other way, which who knows, maybe that might work better. It might not, or it might. Oh, whoa, this is funky. It's very wavy. For this, though, I have my doubts. It's going to be too crowded in the middle. Hmm. I don't completely dislike this, but I think I like the other one better. Let's try a little closer. And as I as I've said before, probably this is kind of trial and error for me. I just try a bunch of different approaches until I find something I like. And I think part of the magic is just my own aesthetic sensibilities. What do I, as the creator, think looks good? And in the past, I've kind of discounted that and been like, oh, you know, it's whatever, it doesn't super matter. But it actually does, because the effort and like the thought and stuff I'm putting into this is, is part of the process, really. And this looks this looks pretty pretty decent. Um, so let's just uh, let's fix the color since we're gonna start from green and then put blue on top. So now let's see if we can have a better time of tracing a path from the inside to the outside. Oh, see the problem with this. This, there's, there isn't really any meaningful way to separate this out. Like these, you kind of have to make all of these the same color almost, because otherwise it's just not going to work. Yeah, this is the one problem with this. Because then, like, what's going to be left for. Because you pretty much have to make all of these blue. Like pretty much everything that touches the center is going to need to be blue. So then that's just not going to leave very much green. It's kind of the concern there. So yeah, like, these are all going to be blue, and it would be really weird if I just left those little dangly things as green. I don't know. Yeah, I think this one's not going to have a lot of green at this rate. And I don't know, maybe that's okay. I also might have to change these colors because I'm not convinced there's enough contrast. Like I might want a darker green. But I guess let's just go through this and see where we end up. Of course, selecting these is kind of a pain. And there isn't really a good way to decide before mirroring everything whether I want them to be one color or another. It's kind of, once I do the, the little mirrored shape, oh, I missed one. Like, I can't do this coloring phase any earlier, I don't think, because my decision is going to depend on the final mirrored shape. I can't, I don't really know that ahead of time when I do this. 
So let's see. Another thing I've been trying to do to save time is to select all of the equivalent pieces all the way around instead of doing so I guess in computer science there's like depth first versus breadth first as like kind of a concept uh, I'm just gonna talk about this since it's actually an interesting topic I probably won't do it justice in a really brief time span but depth first is when you so say you have like a graph uh, and not like a you know math uh, like oh I graphed y equals x squared no like a graph in the sense of you've got nodes and vertices connecting them and they're kind of like in a planar shape um, so like you could imagine like a map of a country uh, and you've got like you know your cities and your roads right um, so the cities are the nodes they're like the individual little thingamabobs and then you've got the roads which connect them um, if you take those two together that gives you a graph that that's what a graph looks like um, so say you're like I, there's a famous computer science problem I think they teach in like intro level computer science it's called the traveling salesman problem and basically you're trying to imagine that you're a salesman who wants to you know visit all the cities uh, and make a bunch of sales right you wanna sell whatever maybe you're selling I don't know maybe you're selling paper maybe you're a traveling Dunder Mifflin salesman <laughs> Dunder Mifflin now known as Saber um, anyway I've been watching a lot of The Office lately in case it's not obvious got the got that stuff on the mind but so yeah you're a traveling salesman and you're trying to get around the country and visit as many cities as possible or I think ideally you're supposed to visit all the cities uh, and you're trying to figure out how to do it most efficiently and that basically becomes a problem of kind of figuring out how you can visit the most all the vertices with the least number of paths between them because otherwise you're gonna be on the road a lot right um, so that's kind of the basic gist of it and I don't remember how this relates to my original problem though. I kind of lost my original train of thought. Um, oh well. Here, I guess it was uh, just an unrelated anecdote since I can't remember what I was trying to do with it. Uh, anyway, I probably want a darker green. This This green isn't quite cutting it for me. Uh, it's not really, that's not a very good green. Let me grab this as a green instead. And... Nope. Didn't like that one. Yeah, maybe that one was okay. Let's try that one. This, there's not really enough contrast right now in the colors we've got. Color pick the screen instead. Yeah, see? So, like, this kind of works better because you've got your, like, blue on top and then you've got your other color underneath and it kind of gives it some visual depth. I think this looks pretty good, actually. Um, might not be my best work because I tend to be a bit overly self-critical when I'm like when I know that I'm not just in a room by myself I'm being recorded or whatever and it's like I'm recording myself right but eh, it's still still a thing nah, nope
Sorry, I'm just trying to position this. I want I want it to like slightly kiss the circle, but not like be overly covered up by it, if that makes sense. I think this kind of gets to where I want to. Um, so yeah, this kind of the result and whoops, I forgot to save the file as the, the right file name. I gotta switch to my Hebrew keyboard. Ani Niagat. There we go. Uh, these are the ones I made before. Um, the first one is Noledet Mechadash, so as reborn, feminine gendered, and then Ani Mesugelet, I am capable. Uh, Titkefu <laughs> Vetamutu, Attack and Die. That was an edgier si sounding title, but um, yeah, it was basically a defensive sigil. And then this one is Ratson uh, Biltin Shavir, and it's Unbreakable Will. It's kind of motivation thingy. And then Anime Kabelet, which means I receive or I accept. It's kind of. I suppose it's somewhat self-explanatory. So anyway, I am adding to this list here. Ani nirgat. I am relaxed. I calm down. It's a nice little... Yeah, so a pretty decent result. As I said, perhaps not my best, but also just doing these several days in a row kind of exhausts my creativity a little bit. So I might end up taking a break from from it soon again just to recharge, but... As a start, I feel like this is this is pretty good for for this one. And I've been mostly doing reds and yellows as my color theme, so it's nice to do something a bit different, like this blues and greens. And actually, yeah, these are kind of relaxing colors if I think about it. Like the blue is kind of like ice, and the green is kind of like naturey, like evergreen pines maybe. So yeah, not bad. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave it there for now, and I hope I wasn't too boring and obnoxious and anything, but at the very least, I do think my voice is going to sound pretty good, just because the microphone on these headphones is really good, apparently. I was just testing it a little bit before I started the video. I'm also not really doing any edits, so you're just going to get the full unedited version of me talking and spouting off nonsense. and. Maybe after I rewatch this, I'll figure out where I was going with the traveling salesman problem. Oh, right. Uh, I guess it was kind of just a commentary on, like, how I get from the inside to the outside of this. And there's multiple ways to get there, and it's a matter of deciding what's the best path. Yep, that's. I think that's what was it. I don't think it was anything deeper than that. But if you have limited roads you end up having to take specific roads because there's no other options. So that's kind of what happened here. There's only one way really to get from the inside to the outside here and that's why these these are blue and then these extra ones are green since they're kind of just they're there and they're pretty but they're not they're not getting us for, to, to where we want to go. So yeah anyway there you have it. Um, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.